Hello guys, welcome to my channel TestCode Automate. So this is my second video for the Playwright with TypeScript series. So in this video, I would be covering installation of the Playwright. So before starting with the installation, let me show you the prerequisite which are required. So first one is the Visual Studio Code ID and the second one is the Node.js. I have already provided the links here. You can go to these links. So first one is the Visual Studio Code. Here you can go and you can download the file as per your specifications if you are working onto the Windows or the Mac. And then you can install uh, the Visual Studio Code. And similarly the Node.js you can go to this link. You can download uh, and install it accordingly for the Windows and Mac OS. And once it is installed, we can proceed further with the Playwright installation. So to install the Playwright, we have three different ways. I would be explaining it to you one by one. First one is using the Playwright extension. So to use this, we need to go on to the Visual Studio Code. And once we are here, we need to click on to this file, open folder and from here you need to select the folder wherever you want to install the playwright and create your test cases okay so for now i'm i'm using this particular folder playwright installation using the extension i have given this particular name you can open this and once you open this folder you would be able to see this folder name here here as you can see we are not able to see any subfolder or the files here once we install the playwright we would be able to see all the subfolders and files so to install the playwright using the extension first thing which we which is required is playwright extension itself so to install that playwright extension we need to go on to this uh, extensions option click here and here you need to search for the playwright And uh, you would be able to see this first option, which is Playwright test for VS Code, which is given by the Microsoft. You can click here. For now, for me, it is already installed. Let me show you how you can install it. You need to click on to this install button. And once you click on to the install, you would be able to see this uninstall and disable option here. And once this uh, Playwright uh, extension is installed, you need to press command shift p so it will open command palette and here you would be able to see this option install playwright if you are not able to see it you can type playwright here you would be able to see this test install playwright option you need to click here and once you click here you would be able to see this particular window where you can select deselect the different options accordingly for now we would be selecting all these default options which are there so this one is the Chromium, Firefox and the WebKit which is for the installation of the browsers where we would be executing our test cases. The fourth option is this one. If you want to change the language to JavaScript, for us it is uh, already by default TypeScript so we will not select this option. And the last one is related to the GitHub Actions workflow. If you want to host your test cases onto the GitHub. So for now we will, all, uh, we will leave all these options checked which are by default and we can click on to the OK. Once you click on the OK, you would be able to see this installation which is happening here. Once this installation is successful, you would be able to see the success message and that's it. I mean, the installation would be fine for you. So see the progress is happening. It is downloading all the browsers also and that's it. You would be able to see this particular message happy hacking now you can go to this explore option here into this particular folder which we opened previously there were no sub files and the folders now we are able to see these playwright folders and the files which have already been created after the installation so as you can see we are able to see this github dot github option which is which is for the github Second one is the tests where you where Playwright has already been provided some of the exa examples that how we can write our test cases. This is the Git ignore. 
this is the package.json file where you would be able to see all the dependencies which you will install in future and this one is the playwright config.ts where we we can do the different configuration related to the playwright we would be discussing all these things later into our series for now uh, the first way is done we have already installed the playwright so the second way to install the playwright is using the command which is npm init playwright at the rate latest okay so for this you need to again open the visual studio code and from here you can open any folder where you would like to install the playwright so i've already created this particular folder playwright installation using command i'm opening this once you open it uh, the same you would not be able to see any subfolders and files here before the installation so to do so to do the installation we need to go here you need to click on to this new terminal and once you open the new terminal you need to give that particular command which is npm init playwright at the rate latest and hit enter once you hit enter you would be able to see the different questions you can select the desired options here so for now we are going to use the typescript so i would be selecting the typescript here and we'll hit enter once you hit enter you would be it would be asking you to select the folder where you where your tests would be going so for now i will keep it default one you can also give this false for the github actions which is default one and here you can select the browser installation part which would be true you can hit enter and you would be able to see the playwright installation once the installation is done you would be able to see all the files and folders under this particular uh, empty folder which we created so in the similar way we are able to see all the required files which we can use so this one is the playwright config file this one is the json file where we would we would be able to see the dependencies here we would be able to see uh, some examples where we can put our test file also this is the gate ignore so that's it the installation is done through the second way now let me tell you the third way to install the playwright which is manual installation where we would be setting up the new npm project and then we would be installing the playwright test as the dependency and then the browser installation so there are three commands which we need to fire so again you can go to this visual studio you can open any blank folder where you want to install the playwright i have i have given this playwright installation playwright manual installation folder again you can go to this terminal new terminal and once you go to this terminal you can first fire this npm init command which would be kind of setting up the new npm project here for us here you would be able to see this package.json once this installation is done here it will ask some questions for now we can leave it blank and hit enter here it is kind of asking the name description and other test command keyword author license whatever if you want to provide otherwise you can leave it blank and hit enter once it is done as as you can see we would be able to see this package.json file here so the second command which we need to fire is to install the playwright so here you can give this npm space i i for the installation hyphen d is for the dependency we would be able to see that dependency here and then we need to give this at the rate playwright slash test that's it once you will hit enter you would be able to see the installation of the playwright here you would be able to see the dependency also into this particular file so that's it we have already installed the playwright now the third command which you need to fire to install all the browsers which is chromium uh, webkit and the firefox so here you need to give npx playwright space install 
that's it and you can hit enter and it will install all the browsers things so that's it I mean the third way to install the playwright is done so we have already covered all these three ways so it's up to you which through which way you want to install the playwright usually I prefer this first one or the second one but it's up to you which you want to use so that's it from my end stay tuned for the next videos please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day